Hello, I'm Linda Monroe Ward, and I teach advertising and graphic design and web technology courses with a community college in North Carolina. And what I would like to show you is how to set up a document that you can create a prototype for an iPad app. Adobe has a software available right now called Experience Design, but it's only been released for the Mac computer. The PC version has not been released yet. So, I am in Illustrator. Illustrator is an excellent second choice to create prototypes in. You can also create a prototype in Photoshop. In Illustrator, I'm going to create a new document with several artboards. Each artboard will be a screen that will be on the app that will be on the iPad Pro. To get started, I will go File, New, or I can go to the splash screen that opened when I opened Illustrator and there's a new button there. I will click the new button. In my new document window I can name this file. I will call it the iPad Pro Prototype. I Under Profile, I will call it, I will choose Mobile because an iPad is a mobile device. Under Size, I will choose the iPad Pro. I will keep my units to pixels. I will have the portrait orientation and that will give me a width for each of my screens as 2048 pixels wide and the height as 2732 pixels high. I'll leave the color mode to RGB. Anything you create that will be viewed on a screen should have the color mode as RGB. I'll leave the other settings as they are and click OK. All right, this file has opened and you should see a white rectangle. That is the first, uh, the first uh, artboard. Now to get to the artboard tool, I will go to the tools panel and go down about two-thirds of the way and you will find the artboard tool and click on it. All of a sudden you see Marching Ants that has selected this artboard and you'll see the name in the top left corner of it. I will change the name of this artboard to Homepage. I'll go to the, the Options panel and with the field that says name, I will put home page and hit return. Now, we need more artboards than this. So continue to have the artboard tool selected. Let's zoom out. On the Mac, I will use command and hit the minus key several times. On the PC, you'll hold the control key and hit the minus key several times. Uh, okay, <clears throat> now I will hold the space bar down and move my artboard to the top left corner of my window. Now, to select a new or to create new artboards, with the Artboard tool, hold the Option key on the Mac or the Alt key on the PC and click on the Artboard and drag a second one off. You'll see Smart Guides that will help you line them up. Now I will continue to create new ones by holding the Alt Option key on the Mac or the Alt key on the PC and drag new Artboards off. So I'll do about three horizontal to each other and then drag some down below those three. Drag some more artboards down below and line them up. Let's see, this one needs to be lined up. Oops, this one needs to be lined up a little. There. Okay, I have six of them. Let me drag one more so I will have seven of them. So I have seven artboards created. The first artboard I clicked and I changed its name to home page. The second artboard 
Let's have that as a search page for restaurants. So I will name it Restaurants Search. Then I'll click on Artboard 3 and name it Restaurant Results. And hit Return. Then I'll have another search. Let's, uh, on Artboard 4, let's call it Clubs Search. And on Artboard 5, we'll have Clubs Results. And then Artboard 6, I will have Theaters. So I'll do Theaters Research, or Search. And Artboard 7 will be Theaters Results. Now, you are set up to start adding content to these artboards. Uh, another video, I'll do another video showing you how to do contents and also how to create artboards that will create a first artboard that has all the background imagery that will be on all of the artboards and just make copies of that too so that you wouldn't have all these blank artboards that you have to copy and paste elements to. So I hope this helps you understand how to start a document and create artboards in the correct size to be able to create your prototype on. Thank you!